hi everyone welcome back to my channel i have a quick review for you so this is the mccart foil art um set that i bought myself off of aliexpress um i will leave the link down below of where i got it from um so i thought i would get some um uv foil glue instead so this is the pack that i bought they did have many different packs but i got this one because i thought this would be quite good value for money so it comes in that mccart box and then you have this little instruction book which tells you how to use it and how to like store it and all that sort of stuff and there you go so yeah this is how to use we can always post pictures at the end um so yeah so i got two sets of different foils with this one so this is all different hollow ones then one's there and then these are the other set which have got all different ones in it as well and you get get 20 yeah 20 different ones and you also get this box which is the um bottles of foil glue because i'm in the uk it's hard for me to get my cart stuff so um yeah so you get two 50 ml bottles and they are glass bottles i'm not gonna lie this does stink a bit i'm not gonna lie it is a bit pongy so if you're really sensitive to smell i probably wouldn't recommend this one because it is a bit stinky i'm not going to say it's not because it is but it is really good stuff i have already used it so um you've got the ingredients on the back so that is the ingredients of it and then it tells you that you cure in a uv led light and you make sure it's tightly sealed so you get two bottles of that so it's it's really good for the price let me just put that one away so i know which one i've been using so yep you get a ton of different foils i mean i don't need to get these ones out because you can see the colors of these ones so i'm just going to try a couple today um and it's handy they come in these little tubs as well um so in this one you've got all different like hollow ones in this one if I can get it out, it'd be good. I probably shouldn't have pulled this one out, but yeah, you get lots of different designs. So I just thought we could, you know, try them out today on just some um, random pop sticks I've got. So, uh, da, 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 where are my scissors? So let's just start cutting just some bits off i tell you what i'm gonna cut the bits off off camera and then come back okay i've taken some from both packs so literally you just put it on like any other normal foil glue so you put it on where you want it um where you want the foil to stick if my camera will behave So, yep, you just put a layer on like you normally would, um, and then you cure that in the lamp. So, when I tried it, it was really, really good. Um, I was really, really happy with it. It worked out really, really great. But as I said, I mean, it is, it is a little bit stinky, but it works so good. So, I mean, if you can put up with the smell... I'd definitely get it and for the price that I paid for it I can't complain I really can't because it was a really really good price for the set um I I will remember to put the price on the screen um and as I said it came off AliExpress so yeah I'm super super happy so and then we will just cure these and then we will see how it goes. So I'm just going to cure them all in the lamp and then I shall be right back.
Okay, they're all top coated. You um top coated. They've all got the okay, they are all out of the lamp, so let's give it a go. So you just place it on. Sorry. So you just try and place it as flat as possible. I mean if it does slide up, don't worry too much about it. If it does fold up. Um so, yeah, we can just give it a good old rub. I mean, because I'm doing this on here, it's a bit difficult to pull it that way. So it's taut. So this is just one of them rubber, like, cuticle tool things. Just because of my hands, obviously, you know. I need something to do the extra pushing with. So let's see. Most of it's stuck, actually. I'm quite surprised. So, let's try that with another one. Let's try it with... Let's try it with a gold one. So... I can see that already coming off. You can actually see it detaching from the back. And this has got like the um, the silver backing on it. Which some of the time you have to oh, move. Um, yeah, most of the time you have to, well not most of the time. Some of the time you have to take that off with um, a bit of rubbing alcohol. But clearly with this, you don't need to do that because it's just coming apart. Really good coverage. So let's see if we can go back in and line it up because that's going to drive me nuts. So let's just go in with this bit here. That's the good thing about foils. You can always go back in. It's really difficult trying to do it on these swatch sticks because they're so bendy. But you get the idea anyway. So that is that one there. Um, I'll do one more. Let's do. Let's do this green one. Let's try from this side first and work our way across. As you can see, can you see that it started to come away? So it's actually started coming away from the backing, which is really, really good. So, yeah, I really, really like this stuff. I mean, as I said, it is a little bit stinky. But if you can stand the smell, it's really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. And you can see how easy it is to use. You just got to make sure that... Well, that's pretty good. So that is that one there. I know I've missed the side, but you can always just go back in. Maybe I missed the side with this. Yeah, I missed the side of it. So that is that one there. So it's it. I think it's really really good stuff. I really do. Um, let's go in with this image here. It sticks like <laughs> you're gonna have to make sure that you definitely get it in the right place because if you don't, um. It's going to stick. And then if you try and remove it, it's just going to take it straight off the backing. So, 
yeah you want to make sure that you've definitely got it in place and which part you want where because it will just instantly stick so you can go over with your finger as well sometimes the warmth of your finger helps as well and there you go you've got the whole image beautiful i love it all right so let's try this sticky you know not the full coverage let's just try it like this see so there you go that is another way you can put on the foils so you can just move it around and then should we put a little bit of green on there why not so a little bit of green where's the gold Let's see if any of the gold will go on so you can hear it's still pretty sticky so yeah i mean i would definitely recommend this stuff most definitely that's another way you can use it just by sticking it on and just pulling it up so yeah so i absolutely love this stuff so i'm going to try one more thing So these are the test ones that we've just done. So the one other test I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with regular polish. So this is just polish I've had on my on my hands that I've kept on for the last few days just to be able to do this. So you want to wipe off quite a lot of the product off the brush and then just put it on i wouldn't go completely to the side i would like leave a small gap and make sure that you don't cap the free edge because otherwise you will not get it back up so let's to make sure that that is definitely covered so i would just leave a small margin all the way around so i'm going to stick that in and cure it and be right back okay so that's cured so i'm just going to stick this on and then we will see how wow that came off like instantly can you see that can you see like where it's actually come off the backing like instantly so let me just quickly fill them bits in so yeah, I mean, as I say, I would probably leave just a small margin around your own nails if you're using it on regular polish because you still want to be able to get it off, obviously. Um, so that is it there. Right, so, hmm, what to try, what to try. We will try, I think this is, stamping top coat we will try the stamping top coat i think this is stamping top coat i think i'm not sure i can't remember do you know what let's use the give me one second okay i can't find the other stamping top coat i'm using so we'll have to go for the one that's new right now and we will just put this on just because the stamping top coat is non smearing on stamping. So none has come off on the brush, which is good. And the hollow has not been not been affected by either, so it hasn't lost its shine. So we will let that dry for a minute. Um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put let me just put it on two more nails and then I should be right back. 
Okay, what I did off camera, I just randomly used different bits of the different ones that we used before. So I'm going to try um, Sesh Feet and a Water Base Born Pretty Top Coat just to see. Um, that one didn't dull the hollow at all. Didn't, um, didn't crack it or anything. So that's good. So you can use Stamping Top Coat over them with the regular polish. We will do this one on this one. And let's just have a look and just see so we can seal it in and that is the water-based born pretty and then we will also go in with sesh feet as well and we will see if the sesh feet takes it off or not well it hasn't removed any of it which is good and then we will see if it removes. Ah, yes, it is. It's taking it off now. Can you see? So you will need to definitely protect these foils if you use these with regular polish. You definitely need to protect them. Um, because I don't know if you can see that in my brush. Probably not. So can you see the little particles in there? So that has come off of that. So don't use sesh feet straight over the top of these. And let's clean my brush. So I would definitely recommend using something else. So let's just put the sesh feet over the top of um, this Born Pretty stamping top coat as well. And see if the sesh feet has the same, um, same reaction. don't see any particles that have come off this time so this is with a stamp born pretty stamping top coat with sesh feet over the top and the hollow is still there at the moment this is the water base born pretty top coat over the top and as you can see the hollow is still there and then this was it straight up with sesh feet over the purple hollow so no definitely don't do that um, so as you can see now, the sesh beat, sesh beat is no good. So that's a good test actually that I tried it with the sesh beat. So can you see the sesh beat is eating the, the foils? So yeah, don't use sesh beat over foils. So, <laughs> hmm. There's obviously something in it that's breaking it down. Let's see. No, that's still very wet so um yeah don't use sesh beat right i'm gonna let this one dry a bit more and then um we will see what it's like because i want to use um, uh, what top coat what top coat um i suppose out the door i suppose um yeah, we will see what it looks like with, I mean, as you can see, I mean, that is like gone, gone. So, uh, let me just get my um, non-asto nail polish remover and we'll see if this comes off with that. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I've got my non-asto nail polish remover. So, let's see. Let's see if it comes off. <laughs> it's stained the nail polish but it definitely comes off look at that oh <laughs> sorry this camera does not want to play today so yeah that came off no problems at all so let me just use um out the door on this um green one just to see whether the out the door messes that hollow near the cuticle because that's where I just kind of like plopped it on and there's nothing on the brush so we will see how that one goes and let's take this one off which had the sesh V on it I'm really surprised the sesh V did that 
because it didn't do it to the um it didn't do it to the flower but it did it to the full cover one which is a bit odd i think it's a little bit odd i mean it takes a little bit more going over but that's probably because i'm using um non-acetone polish remover um because the poly gel overlay i've got on so But yeah, it is coming off. You have to put a little bit more effort into it. But if you use acetone, you'd get that off in two seconds. So yeah, you can use this with regular polish, which is really good. That's really, really handy for me. And this out the door is just drying. Taking all my nail polish off my thumb as well, but it doesn't seem to be um, distorting it or anything. Not like the sesh feet did. So don't use sesh feet over. Don't use sesh feet over foils like this because it eats them. So don't use it. But um, you can use water based top coat, you can use out the door top coat, and you can use the stamping top coat as well. So, yeah, that is really, really good. I will leave that information down below. So, yeah, look, that is the out the door. No problems at all. It looks like that because that's the way I've done it. But you can still see the hollow and everything. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend these. And this kit is really, really good. I would most definitely recommend it. And this is coming off no problem at all. So that is over regular polish. So yes, this, this video is way longer than I intended it to be. So yeah, that is really, really good. Takes a little bit more, you know, a little bit more effort to get it off off of it but yeah it's not bad at all i really like it so yeah so you can use this with gel polish and regular polish as well just use a water based top coat or any other top coat but slash feet <laughs> if that makes sense i will make a note and put it um put it in the pin comment or something so yeah this is really really good i really really like how these turned out i think they turned out really really good considering it was very very quick but yeah i would most definitely recommend this product because yeah that is proper funky i really like that with all the colors all together so um yeah i would definitely recommend this macot foil glue most definitely so if you're looking for one that is pretty reasonable price for for the set you get i mean you get two bottles of these and you get uh 10 foils as well so um yeah i would uh i definitely recommend it i think it's a really good kit it is a little bit stinky but i mean if you can handle the smell of it i would definitely get it because it is really really good um so yeah big thumbs up from me i'm so glad i picked it up well thank you so much for watching let me know down below what you think about this and if you've got it and um yeah and uh yeah that that sesh feet's really strange because I can't see putting it straight over the foil. Couldn't I? Because I put it straight over the foil, didn't I? Yeah. Don't listen to me. I'm just rambling on now. Anyway, I shall let you go because I've taken up enough of your time. I'm so sorry I'm blinding everybody. So, yeah. So, I've taken up more than enough of your time today. Uh, let me know down below what you think about this. And if you're going to pick it up, I will leave the um, link to where i got it from on aliexpress down below and yep i will post pictures at the end and i will put a note about the sesh beat in that lot down below well thank you so so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this quick review and um yeah hopefully i will see you in the next one until then take care bye